Having to change settings on your plugins every single time that you load them can get a bit annoying and really slow down your creative workflow. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set your own user default plugin settings so that when you load a plugin up, it's already part of the way to where you wanna go. And stick around to the end of the video because I will give you a bonus tip on how to set your favorite plugins so that they're even one click closer to you. What is up guys, Alex from Creates here. I'm an audio engineer, mixer, and producer who has been working in the professional music industry for over a decade. And I'm here to help you improve your skills to make music you can be proud of. Now, my overall philosophy, especially when it comes to Pro Tools workflow, is to work as efficiently as possible. One way I've found that overtime adds up is to not have to fiddle around with the default settings of your plugins every time you load them up. Typically, the factory default settings are either completely useless or not really close to where you tend to want to go with those plugins. One of the ways that I've found to speed up this workflow is have a plugin load on either my favorite setting or a default setting that is closer to the settings that I am going to use with that plugin. So let me show you how to set this up. First, you're going to pick a plugin that you would like to set a user default setting. For me, this is this SSL channel strip EQ. This is how the factory default setting loads. However, this is not how I would use this plugin at all. And there are a few things that I change every single time I load up this plugin. For instance, I like to have it a three to one ratio. I like to have the threshold at about zero and I like the release to be down on the compressor. I also don't want the gate to be on like that and I don't want the V gain on. This is now the setting that I would like to have load every time I load this plugin up because it's closer to where I wanna go with the settings of this plugin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to the preset menu up here at the top of the plugin and this little triangle, which is the settings menu, I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna go save setting as. When I click that, it's going to load up the default place that it saves the settings for this plugin. You're just gonna name this new preset as something that you can remember. So for me, I'm just gonna type Anik for my initials, and then I'm gonna hit save. Now you can see up here in the preset name, it says Anik because that is the preset that is loaded. Then I'm gonna go back to the preset settings menu, and I'm gonna go down here to set as user default, which is at the bottom of the list. Once I click that, nothing will actually happen. And then the last thing that we're gonna do, which is a universal setting, so you only have to do it once for one plugin at one time in Pro Tools, is go back up to the preset setting menu, go down to settings preferences, and go over to set plugin in default to and switch it to user setting. This is now going to load the user default setting, which if you just remember, we set the user default setting as the preset we just created. So now every time I load a fresh instance of this plugin, it is going to automatically load that preset that we just created. So for me, that is the Anik preset. If a plugin does not have a user default setting, it will default to using the factory default setting until you set a user default setting. So to recap, and what you're gonna do for all subsequent plugins after this is you're going to load the plugin and either create a preset or load up the setting that you would like to load as default, set it as the user default, and now you're good to go. The last step of actually setting plugins to load with user defaults, you only have to do once and will never have to do it again for any more plugins in Pro Tools. Now, as I said, a little bonus to work a little bit faster is to set favorite plugins so that you have them right at your fingertips. For instance, when I click to load a plugin on this track, you'll see right here, I have two plugins, which are my favorite plugins. To set these favorite plugins, all I have to do is go to the Pro Tools preferences and then go to the mixing tab and then you'll see default EQ and default dynamics. And then you just pick out of your list of plugins a default EQ and a default dynamics. Now, a little hack, which I'm using right here, is I'm using a channel strip plugin, which counts as either an EQ or a dynamics. Right now, I'm using the SSL channel as the dynamics default slot, so I can have another EQ. You can get away with putting it in either slot, depending on what additional plugin you would like. Now, I do have another video coming on how to load plugins, navigate plugins, and different hacks to get the fastest workflow possible with your plugins. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. But that is it for this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and I will see you in the next one. Until then, always be creating.